Hi, I'm Stuck, and this is Bounty Thursdays. And this week's episode is sponsored by Integrity and Bug Crowd. Thank you so much. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to do this on a weekly basis. So, thanks. Thank you a lot. There's been a bunch of really cool things happening this week. It's everything from Franz Rosen's really cool plugin that he, he's been sitting for for the last two years to what we're going to start out with. Donut's latest Medium post, which is a SSRF-based Medium post that you have to check out. It's named Piercing the Veal, short stories to read with friends. And man, this is really, really, really good. There are five SSRF bugs that he goes through in, um, in, in more or less like, I wouldn't say it's a step-by-step -step procedure, but it's a really nice walkthrough on how he exploited those bugs. So if, if you're even a little bit, um, if you got a little bit of understanding how SSRF works, there's a beginner's guide talking about, you know, what is SSRF, how does that stuff work, and then he has five different unique parts that explains different ways of exploiting it. I really, really enjoyed this, and this is something that's going to end in my bookmark list for a very, very long time. This is something that I'm going to go back to for inspiration, so definitely, definitely go, do check that one out. And late last week, I found a new tool that I just stumbled upon onto my radar, and it's Jinglin's uh, One for All. It's a subdomain enumeration toolkit frameworkish thingy that's built on Python, and it, it's really, really promising, right? And what I really like about this tool that it's kind of Swiss Army knife, right? It uses six modules just to get certificate transparency. Then it has four modules to check if there's going to be a domain transfer or a domain takeover. There's 23 modules where it finds current data sets and it fetches information there. There's uh, five modules trying to connect uh, different server records, and there's just a lot of other cool stuff in there. So it's just one place where it captures all this information. And, you just... and as a non-recon person, this is super, super helpful for me because all I do is just to smash the subdomain to this Python one-liner more or less, get the output as a CSV file, and then I'm just sitting in Excel and, and sorting things out to trying to get a grasp and an understanding what's going on at the target. It's easily automatable by exporting it to other formats. So you just putting in your pipeline, let's say you're piping it forward to Gao or some other toolkit to get, get the content discovery going. Mm. Okay. Last Saturday, me and Ben were playing around with Try Hack Me. I know we probably really late bloomers to that kind of game, but it was super, super fun. And those guys have a lot of cool videos out there. And just the way that when you're signing in, you're not, maybe you're not having OpenVPN, maybe you're not having your um, access to your box, right? But you can spin up a Kali box just inside, uh, inside there, get a virtual machine using your browser. So it's super, super easy to get started. And there are some amazing challenges on there. Very intuitive, driven, and super, super, super fun. So if you haven't played around with Try Hack Me, I definitely recommend you to do that. So me and Ben are gonna continue playing around with those on Saturdays. But not on this Saturday, because on Saturday the 9th, starting 10 a.m. PDT, Kudingo, Hacklook, Vortex, SMLs555, Casey, and I are going to host the sixth edition of Bug Crowd's Level Up Conference. I'm a huge fan of this conference. It's been around for a couple of years and it's always attract the best in class speakers. If you haven't checked out the earlier events, definitely check those out. There's some amazing talks about everything from hacking the APIs with JRock to, to really, really cool stuff. 
And since this is going to be an all-day event, it's um, if you got any questions to the speakers, make sure you head over to the Bug Crowd Community Discord. Oh yeah, and that's already up and running, so there's no idea to wait. You can actually join the community right now. And that's about everything we have for today and this week. Uh, I'll be back next week with more Bounty Thursday news. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this kind of content, uh, a like really, really helps when it comes to playing with the algorithm. It is that simple. So also you can follow me over at twitter.com slash Frederick. And on Saturday, there's going to be level up after that. I'm back at twitch.tv slash Nahamsik again for Saturday's Hacking with Friends. Uh, until next week, have a good one. Stay curious. Bye.